We are back. It's day 69 of this low quad growing from seed series and we have several seedlings. As you can see, there's been a nice progress in the three older ones and a bunch of newer ones have sprouted up as well. They've busted open this layer of somewhat caked together sand and diatomaceous earth. I think it's only about 5 to 10% diatomaceous earth by mass. Mostly sand, so it wouldn't clump together as much, but this still happens because when you first layer on sand and diatomaceous earth, it absorbs water from all that uh, soaking wet potting mix on the bottom, and it kind of becomes kind of discolored, you know, sort of brownish, yellowish in areas. So for aesthetic reasons, you can brush it up later to fill up the gaps. I did that with all my plants to prevent fungus gnat infestation and I haven't seen them for uh, this entire day of filming so I think my problem is largely solved. I think just baking all your potting mix alone isn't going to get the job done. So you know, I think this could use a little bit more watering. Uh, these have a lot more leaf surface area compared to Joshua tree. Uh, leaves which in that other series so far just looks like three blades of grass at most for each plant and they grow very slowly but these are growing pretty fast uh, I haven't decided you know when I'm gonna do a coal or a transplant I could just keep this biggest one but you know is the question is am I gonna try to uproot one of these and transplant it to another pot or just coal these other ones and cut them and it's still very early in the series so I don't want to kill everything off yet because if something goes wrong with that one transplant or soul survivor then I won't really know what to do uh, let me focus on this I think it's focused on the wall so yeah um, there's not that much on this side of the pot so maybe this one latecomer seedling can take advantage so there you have it i watered from the top i watered from the bottom focus on this wet sand i'm not too concerned about aesthetics at this point the fungus gnats are gone so it's okay to water a little bit from the top i know that runs the risk of letting many additional seedlings germinate but you know at this point i just want the seedlings that are already visible to have the best possible start and I also added some water at the bottom too. So this thing should be quite well hydrated. Uh, this, it's true that the sand uh, wicks away moisture, at least in the beginning, but it also prevents evaporation and has the um, additional benefit of, you know, sunlight striking this white glossy stuff, you know, little rocks and bouncing back up to the foliage. And it keeps the soil in the pot cooler. And the pot is a white plastic, which really helps with uh, avoiding overheating.